Welcome back, everybody, to Park City Television. This is the Mountain Morning Show. We have Park City Publishing with us, Lauren Nadler, the creative director and publisher, with us this morning, live in studio. We have amazing display of all the books you guys publish. Probably not all of them, just some. No, no not all. <laughs> just the ones who... That ones that are going to be on sale for this holiday season here in town. Well, before we kind of get into each book, I want to find out more about the publishing. Um, yeah, I've been in publishing for, oh gosh, uh, over 35 years, uh, mainly on the East Coast. Really? I started, yeah, I started in advertising and then uh, worked my way through magazines. And But back in college, I actually studied with Tommy DiPaolo, who is a world-renowned uh, um, children's book illustrator who mm -hmm. actually right now is on the bestseller list for his new book Quiet which I'm so in love with but really? I'm in love with everything he does <laughs> one of the most inspiring yeah so what inspired you to become a publisher um, I just love books I loved working especially with kids books I love the whole production cycle I love the design of it the typography I, I just really love books and you know, for a while everybody said, oh, print is dead, print's going away. It didn't really. One, it didn't with kids' books. Mm -hmm. It kind of slumped a little bit, and now it's growing more than ever. Yeah. And I still think that uh, gift books are great. I don't think, you know, people avoid books. I th from the sales that we've had with our cookbook, it's, um, you know, people still want books as gifts, and they're, they're wonderful. Uh, they you are. Know, they're nice, tangible. Uh, in fact, we, we've expanded on to Vail, to Vail, Colorado, to do a cookbook there, just because it's uh, been doing so well. That's amazing. I personally, when I read, I need a book in my hand. I do, too. I, I like, I mean, my phone is convenient, but I just feel like I focus more when I have a book in my hand. And I just like feeling the pages and turning it myself yeah. and not watching a digital page turn. Okay, the cool thing about your publishing is that you do publishing for personal, you know, families, and then you do kind of mass publishing in quantity, correct? We do. We, we actually will design and produce books for the local publish, print, uh, local author mm -hmm. who, one, either just wants one book done for their own family uh, keepsake or print on demand where they'll just get one at a time printed. Or we've had clients where we actually go get thousands printed for them because they're on a lecture series and they'll take their books out and we'll handle everything from uh, design, production, printing, um, you know like Chris's book we repackaged his book here and uh, printed them, had them printed for him and he lectures and sells them and we sell them for him as well. Really? Yeah. And all these books can be found locally? All these books are in town at a lot of the stores. Um, the cookbooks are all over town great gift for Christmas. And you said this Holland. one, you guys are printing more because you've sold out. We've sold out of the first one. Uh, we are printing more, but the stores are still stocked in town, ready for the holidays, and mm -hmm. we should be getting more just within a week or two. And then let's talk about, let's, let's show some of these books, because this gives people ideas for gifts, and a lot of these are actually wedding gifts. Yeah, so th these books, this book here, um, was for someone's wedding. It's a uh, you know, a collection from all the wedding guests. The family had them send their recipes and photos in to us, mm -hmm. and then we put the book together. We've done this several times. We did this one. This was a woman who had uh, three daughters, and each time they got married, we produced a cookbook for them with photos, recipes, and uh, this was her second daughter and her third daughter. Cute. So and when you have an, a personal idea, like I want to make a cookbook for my sister, do I have to come in with the design, the pictures, the recipes, I mean everything, and then you just package it and make it look great? We, we talk you through every stage of it. Okay. Um, you do supply your content, um, but we help you do that. Uh, you know, this woman, she collected photos. We would ask her for more photos. We did the design, so you don't have to come with a, a design. We sat with her. Um, kind of got a feel of what her daughters were like, mm -hmm. the style, um, gave her some samples of design, and then she chose which one she liked. So. so you'll hold my hand throughout the entire process. Absolutely. I love that. Yes. And there's no project too small for you guys? There's no project too small. As you see, this one was a, you know, just a small book, uh, just a few pages, black and white print, uh, but it was fun. Uh, I like doing it all. I just like books. These, this book is a woman who has done several books. 
Uh, we work with the illustrators. We design, produce, and uh, send the book out for printing. Love it. And uh, it, you know, it's on Amazon. She also markets it all through stores. So this is one that's been printed in quantity. How big of products do you guys take on? Uh, we've had books that we've printed anywhere from, you know, just a hundred books up to five thousand. Um, you know, years ago, books used to be printed in fifty, sixty, a hundred thousand. Um, they're smaller print runs now. We do our average is about three to five thousand books, and but then we're happy to reprint it, mm -hmm. uh, which we do all the time. I love this. Okay, one book I want to point out is Mind Doodles. Now this is so you could color mindlessly, and it's like a brain exercise. And I'm so excited because we have an author here. We're gonna go to commercial break and come back and talk to him about why he created this in the first place. And you guys are the printers. Yes, we designed and uh, had him printed. And we love this book. I think it's a great companion to the author's uh, resource book. I love it. We might be doing some coloring when we come back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We have the author of Mind Doodles with us. Roger, how are you today? I'm very good. How are you? I'm very good as well. But I realized before I left, I said this was mindless doodling. But in fact, it's not. Tell me, <laughs> tell me more about Mind Doodles. Um, the idea is to create a book that is more than just a coloring book. It actually tells the, you know, the purchaser, the user of the book, mm -hmm. about the design, where it came from. And there are designs in here from, uh, gosh, uh, Cherokee Indians, from France, from Shark Cathedral. There are designs from all over the world in this book. So you can color it in, in the book. You can read about the designs. Uh, and basically the idea is, is when people, young people, go into a historical site, like an old cathedral, they'll know more about it. If they see a Cherokee basket, they'll understand more why that design is as it is. So they can color, they can make notes, and they can learn. That's the idea. I have so many questions. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, why designs in the first place? And why did you pick the ones you picked? Um, well, why, well, I picked them thinking of the, of the planet. Okay. Thinking of the whole earth, if you like. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to introduce young people to the concepts behind designs. It, it was really important to me that they understood the logic, the history, a little bit more. It's a bit of a teaser. It doesn't go in into too much depth. So afterwards, I might be on my phone Googling, trying to find out every little aspect <laughs> of the design. Yes, you might. But uh, no, that was the idea. It was to do more, to not make it mindless. I like it. To make it mindful, if you like. Mindful doodling. Mm -hmm. I might the just start. The next step would be picking up his other book. Really? Yeah. What's your other Rather book? Rather than Google um, it. Well, the biggie is this one down I'm going to color while we talk. Is that OK? OK. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the biggie. It's, it's very big, and it's very heavy. But this, this guy takes, um, it follows history. Okay. It follows geometry through time. Um, sacred architecture, divine architecture, meaningful architecture. It well, goes through every culture you can imagine. What is your background? A uh, mathematician, a um, bit of a scientist. And what drew you to designs and architecture throughout the world? Um, gosh, as a young man, I used to hitchhike down to North Africa and then spend time in Spain and just looking at the architectural forms. I was fascinated. I, I don't quite know why. It's, a, it's an impairment. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I wouldn't call it an impairment at all because look at what you're creating. Yeah. You're creating something for everybody else. Our boys call him something else. It's, he's our absent-minded professor. <laughs> our absent-minded professor. <laughs> I don't think you're absent-minded. Um, let's, I want to talk about why, why coloring? Why design and coloring together? Well, you know, I think the principles behind some of these designs are really exciting. They're, in a sense, they were lost many years ago, and I've made it my business to resurrect them. And um, I go around universities and conferences talking to young students about the ideas in the designs. And coloring 
is just one easy way of dealing with them and one easy way of un understanding them. But it, if you're an industrial designer or an artist, there's more, there, there's more in the way of depth. You can find out how to construct them. I mean, I can show you how to draw all of those. So basically, I'm doing it wrong already? No, oh, no, no. I'm great. Mean, create the design itself. The oh, really? The line design. Okay. Not the, co no, the coloring's another layer. That's a creative, yes. personal perception. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, when wow. We, when we saw the developing of this book, and we realized we could take it one step, I don't want to say one step further, we took it the other way to make it for all of us that could learn what's in this book in, in more of a fun, interactive way. In a more uh, immature, maybe, yes. way. <laughs> I think, seriously, I've told you, my, my mom gives us coloring books almost every single Christmas, and those are more mindless. I would love this, because you're, you're looking at these designs saying, you know, where did this come from? And now we know. You give us background on the design and the meaning behind it, which I think is amazing. It's, it's way that, better. That particular design there, just to uh -huh. give you an example, there is a mosque in Old Cairo, and there's a window in that mosque. And I was wandering along the streets, saw the window, and thought there was something rather special about the design, the concept behind it. Mm -hmm. And from that window, I created a whole bunch of designs. Really? In fact, the Alta design books, which were the first ones in the 1970s, were all based on a window in Old Cairo. One window. One window. That's amazing. Isn't it? I love how your brain works. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it because I get to benefit. I'm totally going to go buy these books, I mean, and give them to my sisters and my mom for Christmas because this is amazing. I love the history behind it. I love that you really dive deep. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not a mindless coloring book. Don't listen to a word I said earlier. This is very different. Yes. Roger Burroughs, thank you so much for joining us, telling us some background on this. I have really enjoyed this. Before we go, Lauren, I want to talk about these books right here. These are some of the most popular books in Park City. Oh, it's great to hear. <laughs> these are, tell me about them. You think they're fabulous Christmas gifts. They're in um, our stores right now? They're in a lot of stores right now. They're in Dolly's, of course, the bookstore. They're in La Niche, a lot of the ski shops, Cole Sport, Jan's, uh, Park City Mercantile, Whole Foods carries them, uh, J.W. Allen Toy Store, oh, I can't think of Market. I mean, they're just in a lot of the stores around town. Um, we're happy to see them everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. uh, branded PC is happening. It starts tonight. The opening is tonight. Uh, and we have uh, an area there with all our books, Chris's books, um, the Mind Doodles, and the cookbooks will be there. Um, and you, you know, our bi biggest excitement right now is that we're venturing to Vail, Colorado, and we've, we're meeting with a lot of just wonderful chefs we're meeting there that are joining us. Uh, to produce one of the books there, oh, and then cool. hopefully to move to every ski town in the, you know, wherever. So the last question I have for you guys is how did you find each other? We have, we have, we have single parents with two five-year-olds, and they had a friend in common. They're now 28, and I call them trolls. They're huge. <laughs> but when we met, they were cute and little. <laughs> so that's how we met. That's awesome. Well, I'm yes. glad that you guys found each other. Okay. I think it's awesome that you're bringing Mind Doodles local here to Park City, and you're all over the place as well. Yes. And as well as these books that you guys are printing for the cookbooks and the personal books, you guys do everything, big and small. Yes, we do. And we're hoping the Mind Doodles will get bigger. Um, it's in MoMath in Manhattan now, which we're excited about, and we're yeah. hoping to get in uh, MoMA, Museum of Modern Art. We're working on that. I think you will. Yeah, I think you will, so. for sure. All right, well, Lauren Nadler, Roger Burroughs, thank you so much for joining us today. Park City Publishing, go there for your projects. Grab a book out of the store. I'm sure they are the ones that published it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. All right, we'll be wrapping up the show right after this commercial break.